morning, everyone. Today we have with us Mr. Todd Hancock. He is the president for Asia Pacific for Collinson. Welcome, Mr. Hancock, and thank you for speaking to Travel Biz Monitor. Wonderful to be here with you, Disha. Uh, Mr. Hancock, tell me what kind of opportunity has the post-COVID world brought in for airport lounges? Well, Disha, we, we've just recently done an independent uh, traveler survey, about 5,400 frequent travelers from across Asia Pacific, and 20% and of those, the largest uh, number of those were from India. Um, well, what came out of that was some really interesting statistics. The first one being that lounge access is the number one most desirable travel benefit. Um, but it was also clear that the health concerns remain. So despite 70% of the respondents um, having already booked at least one leisure trip in 2022, almost 50% of them are having anxiety about picking up infections in the airport. So what they were saying to us was that 49% of them feel that uh, they're safer in an airport when they have access to, to lounges. And then in addition to safety, we're seeing with the celebration of the return to traveler that travelers are in, uh, attaching an increased value to, to travel benefits that they get from their credit card providers. So 55% of them were feeling rewarded from their credit card providers and 52% valued as a customer when they're provided with, uh, with lounge access. We're also seeing uh, a call for brands to identify new and innovative ways to drive loyalty. Um, and we see uh, through that, those statistics that things like lounge access and flight delay benefits, such as Collinson's smart delay product, are a couple of ways that brands can, can activate that. Okay. And uh, as far as the Indian market is concerned, how are you aligning your investment option with the recent travel trends? Sure. Well, India has always been a very important market for us. We, we see it as a critical market for growth into the future. And, and certainly all the, uh, the industry statistics show that over the next 10 years, we're going to see a lot of growth within the Indian market. We continue to invest in, in the market today and we'll continue to invest into the future. And that's demonstrated with our recent launch of our Priority Pass Access India. Um, that now provides us with access to over 50 uh, premium lounges and airport experiences across all major cities in India. Um, and that's seamlessly so supplemented with the 1300 airport lounges and airport experiences across the world um, that we have. And, and that actually gives us the, the largest and most accessible program in the world. It actually covers 95% of all international flights from the top 100 airports globally. So continuing to invest in India is, is really important. Um, also, we're seeing international flights and international travelers from India increasing significantly. We were already in May at 72% of pre-COVID levels, and we're continuing on our daily statistics to see those numbers uh, growing. Um, of the travelers that we surveyed, um, the ones that averaged six international flights pre-pandemic or international trips pre-pandemic, um, they've already indicated that they'll be doing at least three international trips in 2022. So our ability through Priority Pass to enable brands to enhance the customer's domestic and international journeys all through one provider is, is really unmatched. And that's, that's what Visa is seeing through uh, you know, the partnership that we've recently launched with Priority Pass Access India in India, um, that it's, it's about not just domestic travel, but it's about domestic travel and international travel combined. And, and that's where we need to continue to invest. And what has your uh, partners in India brought to the table? I believe you've signed on a few partners in India. Uh, please tell us about that development. Of course, yes. Of course, in, in, in addition to our, our regular lounge uh, partners that we have across those 50 airports in, in India, um, we've recently signed two, um, two partnerships in, in India that extend the already a uh, large and comprehensive network that we have for Priority Pass. Um, the first one being Pine Labs, and that's a leading Indian merchant commerce platform, which enables our customers to be able, with a tap of a card, get access to their lounges. And then the second one is Poshfine, which is an Indian-based loyalty platform. And that provides Priority Pass Access India travelers with discount offers through dining, retail, airport transfers, 
uh, meet and greet and, and sleeping spot uh, pods, oh, and as well as spa um, for those that want to have a little bit of relaxation while they're traveling in the airport. Um, so these kind of partnerships that we're establishing in India, they, they extend what is already a really broad ecosystem of experiences for Priority Pass. Um, and we're, we're also seeing that, you know, with travel returning, it's the perfect time to be bringing these kind of partnerships in to enhance the program. Um, we, we, we see that uh, you know, they're able to reward their customers, um, but they're also able to delight them with, with other uh, benefits such as the smart delay and travel delay where people turn a flight delay into lounge rest. So are, are more such partnerships in the offering in, in the Indian market? Certainly, Disha, and I hope to be talking to you again soon about uh, about some of those other partnerships that we're working on today. Okay, and uh, my last question to you: How do you view the Indian market experience vis-a-vis -vis the your experience in different parts of the world? Um, I, I think it's a very exciting and, and uh, dynamic market. Um, it is one of the fastest growing travel markets in the world, generally for uh, for the industry. Uh, we've seen a fantastic rebound uh, uh, from the, the COVID period, and while COVID's still there, um, we're seeing it. Uh, we're seeing it growing. Um, the Indian travelers are are exciting, both from a domestic perspective and an international perspective, and um, we see that with many of our partners around the world. Uh, very excited to see the uh, the Indian traveler beginning to get on planes again. Okay, sure. That was an interesting uh, insight into what your activities are in the Indian market. Hope to speak to you soon, Mr. Hancock. Thank you, thank you for speaking to Travel Biz Monitor. Thank you, Disha. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you.